Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill from the Barnhill Golf Institute helping you find your winning way. Today I want to go over a very important part of the game that can save you strokes immediately and that is the bump and run. We're going to go over how to do an effective chip and you know you can use different clubs but you can do this 20, 25, 30 yards off the green and what I'm noticing with a lot of junior golfers I'm playing with and also just amateurs in general they want to hit this high flop shot um, a lot of swing when actually you could hit this bump and run a lot of different places and, and it did so much easier and your contact would be so much more effective. So I want to go over how to hit the bump and run. I'm going to use a 7 iron and a 50 degree wedge. I'm going to show you the setup and how you should look doing that. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to hit my 7 iron here and show you the stance, where the ball position should be. Um, it should be back in the stance if you're hitting a low or forward in the stance never in the center so I'm gonna show you what it looks like here's the technique you want to make sure like about one head width apart here weights on your front foot I've got the ball position back because I'm gonna hit it low I'm gonna choke all the way down on the club here almost to the shaft actually I got my hand on the shaft I'm gonna forward lean the shaft and then I'm gonna actually make a putting stroke my eyes are over the ball and I'm gonna go straight back straight through okay just like that and it's gonna be somewhat equidistant back and through. So like that one was like seven to five, six o'clock is where we start. Rhythm like one, two, a smooth acceleration. So forward pressing really helps in keeping your hands ahead and gives you that good clean contact. Okay, so let's try one with the uh, 50 degree wedge and see what it looks. So it's going to depend on the situation too, you know, like is it a long ways away, is it uphill, is it downhill, uh, how, what's the speed of the greens, so, but the technique's the technique, then you just practice, go out and, and see how it works for you and then see what, which clubs you're more comfortable with, but you can use a, a wide array of clubs, okay? So here's a 50 degree here. Okay, and you notice everything stays really still, so the more quiet you can keep it and make it like your putty stroke, the more effective you're gonna be, okay? Okay, I wanted to give you a down the line perspective here because I wanna show you how in the setup where your eyes should be. So what I do, I have a rod down here for alignment. That way I know my feet are in the proper placement. So what I like to do, I like to open my feet up when I chip just a little bit, but I like to check that my eyes, I drop it from in between my eyes here and it's right on top of the ball there. Because well, that's gonna help us have the stroke go straight back, straight through. So let's watch here. Eyes are over, choking down. Heel the clubs a little bit off the ground. And now I'm just gonna make a little bump and run. Okay, and it's a very simple stroke. So when you get more over like that, it helps to take the hands out of it. Most people I see, they go like way over here, then the club gets rounded and then then it gets real handsy and then disaster happens. It's just not the way to chip. So it's a lot more effective if you can get your eyes over the ball for a little bump and run, choke down all the way, way forward, hands ahead, back in your stance, and then just make a putting stroke. And uh, I'll tell you what, it just makes it a lot easier. Not many things are going on, not much movement. Uh, when you're nervous and you got to perform, you got a tough lie, this shot, just works and you can you can like I said you can take this all the way to 30 yards out so I love it it's also my pro taught me when I was growing up when I was a junior golfer to think this way and I still to the to this day I think this way when I play a putt when you can and then if you can't putt then chip like what I just showed you there and if you can't chip then that's when you take a bigger stroke you pitch hey I hope you enjoyed that instructional video it definitely will help your game so give it a try let me know comment like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want to see more product reviews and instructional videos, please visit BarnhillGolf.com.